Investigation first started in February of this year after an anonymous caller made a report to DCF saying that they were concerned about current students. A former Tolland High School English teacher admitting to police he had a sexual relationship with a student he knew was a minor at the time. 43-year-old Chris Coffey was arrested Friday after a months-long investigation into allegations from the 2014-2015 school year. I didn't believe it. I thought it was like a joke. And then I had to like check. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, Mr. Coffey. And uh, next thing you know, it turned out to be real. Ethan Poverman, a graduate of the high school, says he never expected to hear about the allegations. One of my friends had him. We would like hang out in the classroom. He was pretty cool. He's always been nice. Students spending time in Coffey's classroom, one of the many details in the arrest warrant. According to the warrant, the investigation began in February of this year after an anonymous tip. Investigators were able to identify the victim, who told them she would eat lunch in Coffey's classroom with other students every day, and that one day after the other students had left, he told her he had feelings for her. The victim told investigators that during the summer, their relationship escalated to dating, and the two would meet up at UConn on a weekly basis. According to the warrant, the victim said the relationship continued into the following school year, when Coffey exposed himself to her in a classroom and that they would kiss. It's awful, really sad. The arrest warrant states that Coffey told investigators his relationship with the victim began over email. He admitted to sexual encounters and that he knew the victim was 17 at the time. We know that the impact of sexual assault <clears throat> really can last a lifetime. Bridget Kessner with the Connecticut Alliance to End Sexual Violence says it's never too late to speak up if you have concerns that someone may be experiencing harm and there are signs to look out for. We often see them targeting a specific individual or a type of individual, and often they'll target people who have a vulnerability. Often we'll see them erode boundaries, so that's another red flag to look out for. In a letter to the school community, Tallinn superintendent says Coffee was placed on administrative leave in February and he resigned shortly after. The superintendent also stressed counselors are available for students for further support during this time. In the studio, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.